Welcome to Hat Chat, where two matters chat it out. Welcome to Hat Chats again. I'm Kevin. I'm Townsend. And uh, we're here to chat. So um, let's talk about the most controversial subject on the whole uh, internet uh -oh. as far as hats go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Are Stetson hats really as great as everybody thinks they are? I'm gonna put you on the spot. You're gonna, gonna put gonna me go on first, the spot. You want me to go first? You could go first, I think, on this one. Okay, I'm gonna say as far as Western hats are concerned, like authentic Western hats, there's nothing better and there's nothing more authentic that I would want than a Stetson. Uh, as far as things like ranchers, uh, Shasta, Skyline, Carson, all of those kind of things, all the way up to a thousand X. So I think they're amazing. I love them. Um, they're reliable. You can even wear them in the rain, which is hard for most hats. But as far as fedoras and crossover hats, like the Open Road, the Dune, the Stradaliner, the Temple, I think that there are a lot of choices um, that are more reliable as far as felt quality, quality control. Although, on the same, on the other hand, Stetson has that cool factor. Right. Like if I was going to get a two-inch brim fedora, there's nothing I'd want more than probably like a, a Saxon because yeah. they look great, the lines are great, but they're a little bit thin, they're a little bit light, and they're a little bit iffy in the rain. Yeah. So. Yeah. I guess I would choose the quality of Celentino or a Kubra, something like that. For sure. But um, the styles of Stetson, if that makes any, any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my feeling is somewhat similar, I guess. And I could say this as someone who has Stetson for the words. And, um, at the same time, I, they were the introduction that I first heard when you think of fedoras, at least in America. So, so like, when I knew nothing about hats at the time, I walked into a store, it was a store that has had Stetsons. So that kind of just seeps into your mind, like, oh, this is what a fedora is. And people say, I want a Stetson. And, and that was almost synonymous with a fedora, right? Um, I think with every company, there's always going to be hit and miss. Uh, like Stetson's such a big company that I mean it's just impossible to kind of look over every department. But their main focus is westerns. There's no question about that. Like the westerns can't be beat. I don't think. Yeah, I feel the same way. Anything from like an authentic like I don't know six X Rancher or Skyline, yeah. anything like that, and up to me is really nice. But some of the crossover hats can be a little thin to me, like the um, the Dune, the 6X uh, Open Road, the Stradaliners. Right. Um, I feel that if you're looking for something rugged, which it implies, there are more rugged things you could you could choose, like a Kubra yeah. or oh, something yeah. like that. I've got a couple of Kubras and, and those things hold up. There's no question. Um, I mean, I price point, I think they're, they're right there. Um, I actually, they're, they're a little bit, I think they're a little bit cheaper than Stetson. Yeah, you know, they're about the same, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. Um, gosh, I wish I brought mine. Um, yeah, I, I think, but I think if you're going for, for like everyday use and you're, you're outdoors a lot, then a Kubra is probably, a, I would say like a better route, um, than say like a, a, what I'm wearing, mine. My hat is an uh, open road. Um, it is the, the western weight. Um, it looks good. It looks no, really yeah, cool. I love this hat. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's my favorite though. You know? um, but but I, 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 I like to wear it just to break up from wearing fedoras or newsboys. So. Right, right. You know? um, I, I, Stetson is a great way to get and I told someone this the other day, I said, don't get married to a brand. Um, when you're dealing at price points, they're all going to be fairly comparable, I think. Um, 
find the hat that definitely speaks to you the most. Um, it's not obviously it's when people will see a hat, they'll be like, "Is that a Stetson? Is that a Borsellino? Is that a..." You know, the, these are the brands that most people know about, um, and that's their introduction to to hats. Right. That's um, my point. There's a lot of brands there's, out there. There's so many out there, and um, the the other companies like the McGills are great, and and Akubra, um, you know those and Celentino obviously Salentino, those guys. Rocher. I think like even when you compare the Stratoliner to say like the Hamilton, uh, I think I think the Hamilton wins. I think like that hat is essentially the the Stratoliner, but with a bigger bow. Or it's a, maybe closer to a whippet thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whippet and the straddle line are almost the same hat, just the different bands. Yeah, it's yeah. And they've the got the, they've got the, the, yeah, the edge to it. So, um, but I think I, I've never had it. I've tried on all the Celentinos. The only thing is like they're, the sizing's a little. They run big. They run big. You know, where Stetson's true to size. Stetson's true to size, but they're erratic though. Yeah. So every seven and a quarter is going to run a little different. Some of yeah. them will run big, some of them will run okay. Right. So, yeah, as a, as a general, they run true to size, but I've also found that every Stetson seven and a quarter is different. I still have my first Stetson. I should bring it in. I don't even know what it is, but I bought it in Seattle. I'll bring it in sometime. And, and it was a limited run, I guess. Um, but it had, I'll have to bring it in. It's, it's got a cool binding to it. Oh, ah, cool. So I'll bring that in sometime. I only have one Stetson, I have a brown temple. That's the temple? Yeah. yeah, how do you like it? Um, I like it, I like it, I wear it at home mostly. It's like very soft and kind of broken. I don't know right. why it's like my uh, pajamas hat or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I wanna just like keep warm or something. Where sometimes when I'm making videos and the, the lights are in my eyes, I put that on. Put that it's, on. Yeah, it's light and it's comfortable and stuff. Yeah. But I actually really like my temple. It's one of my favorite hats. Yeah. Um, and I like Stetson Fedoras a lot. I like all of their, their models, the Stradaliner, the Whippet, the Temple, the Sax and the Silk and the Jag and all those hats. But I kind of wish their dress hat quality was as good as their Western quality. Right, right, that's for sure. You know, because the quality control is a little iffy sometimes. Yeah. But then when the hats come in, they're just so cool, nobody cares, you know. They, they go they fast. Overlook it, you know, they, thread here or thread there. Yeah, so I mean, I have um, Morgan. There's a couple threads that are. You gotta cut them. Yeah. The band has a lot of nylon threads around them and stuff. Yeah. It's not the worst thing in the world. No, it's, it's a first world problem. Um, but you're spending good money on something and you want it to be effective. With Salentino, you never see a thread I, out I of have, yeah. Of course, a single um, defective hat. Like no. Every, no, I haven't seen one. Yeah, like even in decades, I haven't seen one. Which is, that's real yeah. inspection. Yeah. yeah, that's serious quality yeah, they, they really, they really take care of that. Um, yeah, I think Stetson's just, it's like, it's a big company. So it's, it's going to have, oh, there's just going to be these oversights. There's so much stuff that they make. You know, like yeah. if you get a Stetson cap, it's a European brand. Right. Stetson in Europe, and they're made in Germany, or they're made in, um, um, or else some of them are in China or Bulgaria, Mexico, or there's Mexico. Mexico. yeah, there's, you know, uh, like Japan. Japan. Yeah, and they all have a different USA, style to it. Yeah, so I think it's a I huge, think huge brand. Yeah, and so like people, I think the major assumption is you get a Stetson, it's made in Texas. I think that's a that's kind of a. There are American made Stetsons, mm -hmm. and there's no there's no question Most about that. Most of their brand hats are. Yeah, um, unless you come from Europe. Then you're buying then totally you're different buying, companies that's in Europe. Right, right. Which so, is basically just rented their name. Yeah. But they're good though, they're okay. It's it's, it's not stuff. the Stetson from from the early nineteen hundreds. It's a different whole different model of, of a company and how they go about things. It's it's and that's just the way the world. Mm -hmm. You know, so. that's in Europe and then you've got the US Stetsons which were uh, bought out by Hatco years ago and yeah. Stetson was in, in trouble. They Bought them and Dobbs and Charlie One Horse and a bunch of their other uh, names and um, and basically saved them and yeah. they did yeah. a lot of money behind them and um, so you know that's kind of like the uh, the second resurgence of Stetson you know right right put them back on the map again right well it was like that and and uh, what's the Urban Cowboy Urban Cowboy Urban that, Cowboy was 70s. yeah that that basically brought back the Western look. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I mean, there, there was probably going to be people that were like, oh, the Western Oak's always been here, but, yep. you know. 76, I was 10, 10 years old then. Yeah. 76, I was in summer camp, and my dad opened up a Western wear shop. Oh, wow. Oh, Irving, yep, in Queens. And that's how I got introduced to Stetson and the Stetson. Uh, in 76, okay, so like right at the Urban Cowboy era. Yep. <laughs> I used to go to the trade shows when I was a little boy. Right. And, um, I knew all the Stetson guys, you know. So how would you compare the Stetsons of then compared to Stetsons of today? Uh, actually, now they're better. I think yeah. there was a low period way, way back then. They were just kind of getting back on their feet and everything. Well, in the mid-90s, when I first came to JJ's, there was a kind of a low period where there was some, like, cardboard sweatbands and we were getting people's uh we're getting uh, brown and black ink uh dye on their heads after rain and stuff oh wow okay but that wasn't in 76 back right. then i was pretty young and my my parents were selling western hats um and at that point the quality was really really good you know the, the hats were very expensive um everything was expensive and yes yeah. so, H bar C uh, Western clothes and uh, Justin boots, all that stuff. Right, right. Uh, if you wanted to dress cowboy, you had to spend a lot of money. Oh yeah, and sure. Boots were you know five hundred and up, and you know, hats were a couple hundred bucks and up. Well, oh, you know today it's like I think about like the the look of the cowboy, and it's really a baseball cap now. Like you yeah. see, a, you yeah, know, the, the I trucker mean, cap. That's yeah, the, the trucker cap right. and and all of that is more of a of a cowboy look than the. Than the Western hats, which is, you know, that's just the evolution of, of style and function, I guess. You know, it's probably easier to put on a trucker cap when you're on a tractor than. Yeah, true. You know? I think there's a lot of guys who need the, uh, the protection from the sun. Oh, and yeah. Too, and they just want something wide brim, too. Yeah, I think, and a lot of it, you know, once we quit, well, I think once we quit wearing the hats, too, like the, we saw the rise of skin cancer and stuff like that people weren't taking care of their these hats served a good purpose you were outside working you know absolutely and, and that that plays a role in, in skin protection um, you can't get that with a baseball cap you can't get that with the other stuff so like you know that was the the Stetsons those serve a huge purpose other than just fashion and looks it's if you're outside you need to protect your skin man the wide brims are going to do it. Yeah, the wide brims and, and those westerns will do it. Now, nowadays, there's a lot of options. You've got Stetsons from Mexico, which cost yeah. like, you know, very little. You can get a straw Mexican Stetson for like, you know, $30, 40 $50. Right, right. Palm leaf and stuff like that. So there's yeah. a lot of options and there's a lot of companies out there too, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's so, always going to be a lot of options. There's actually a lot more options now than there was back then. You know, um, at least in terms of price ranges. So, what's your favorite uh, model, Stetson? Oh gosh, um, I I gotta go with the open road. I gotta go with the open road. Just I I can't wear a western hat. No, to save my yeah, <laughs> you look good. Thank you. But I, I got this to break up wearing fedoras and and, and caps and everything. So. It, um, if I'm playing with some with some musicians, I'll wear this. I'll wear some kind of Western style. Yeah. Hat. Um, you know, it, it's a it's it's a good casual look. You can still dress it up if you want, but the open road. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna have to say I, I like the Saxon a lot. The black Saxon. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, I like some of the westerns too, although I don't really have one now. I've owned them in the past, uh, like a black uh, Carson or a Rancher. I used to like those a lot. Yeah. And I would reshape them a little bit too. Right, right. I would kind of turn them into like these Hendrixy looking hats with flat brims. And I mean, those, yeah, those western hats you could do a lot with. Yeah. yeah. That's the cool thing about it. They're them. so stiff and they're, the quality of the belt is so yeah. good to the, the, the sets and westerns that you could just keep reshaping them over and over. Yeah. All right. That's a good place to All wrap right. it up, man. All right. So, yeah, let us know uh, some of your favorite Stetson models, if you don't uh, mind, uh, down in the comments and stuff. All right? All right. Peace. Peace.
And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.